So our first international dish we're cooking here is called paneer, and it's just a really simple kind of pre-cheese or cheese recipe. So we have some milk up here that's getting close to boiling. It's about 90 degrees Celsius right now. Give that one last stir. And once it's kind of gotten to that point, you're just going to add some citric acid. So I have a, a teaspoon of citric acid in a, about a half a cup of water. And I'm going to mix the two, and when I do, that acid is going to affect the casing in the milk. And it's going to cause it to curdle. I'm going to stir this in. And what's happening there is that the casein is no longer interacting with the water, and so it's starting to separate. And so we want that separation to occur for a little bit. We'll give it a good 20, 30 seconds of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour that into this, into this uh, strain right here. And then I'm going to kind of squeeze this to get the water out as much as possible and to let the milk, or I'm sorry, not the milk, the cheese form. We're going to let that drain, and then we're just going to kind of take the corners of this and kind of pick it up, and then use that to kind of wrap into a ball. And we're going to let that hang for a little bit and drain some more water out and squeeze some more water out. And as we're kind of putting pressure on this, that's going to allow, it's going to allow the casein to kind of join together, and it's going to trap some of the fat with it. So how we do this next part will affect the flavor a little bit by how much fat gets in there. So there's some room for modification here. Come on, get the four corners together. As we pick that up, we're going to see some water dripped out. What we want to do is we kind of carefully, because it's hot, get this as tight as possible so that we can get that water to come out. So at this point, our paneer should be ready. We didn't get a lot of it because I only did, oh, maybe like a third or a fourth of a, of a gallon there. Not very much. Um, but paneer is very filling because it's a lot of protein and fat kind of condensed into this little bit. I mean, we started with, you know, what would be a large glass of milk to drink, and here we'll get a little bit of cheese out. And so now that we've kind of held this in pressure, it should have given the chance for the things to kind of stick together. So when we open this up, we have our cheese. Some of it's still a little flaky because I didn't get that on there very tight. But here's our paneer. Just go ahead and set that on a plate. Um, you can season it with all kinds of things. You can cook this with curry or something else, but you can also just add some salt and pepper or just eat it plain. Um, it's a little bit bland. You know, you can see this isn't very formed very well, but it's not bad overall for how we did for there. We're working in non-ideal conditions here.